welcome to App Mavericks. My name is Denise Carboni. I'm a Salesforce MVP and Chicago user group leader. We're here today with Devat from Spanning Backup. We'd like to learn a little bit more about the solution. Devat, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks, Denise. My name is Devat Dalokya, and I'm Senior Product Manager for Spanning Backup for Salesforce. Spanning offers enterprise-grade data protection for critical business data in SaaS applications, including Salesforce, Office 365, and G Suite. Spanning Backup for Salesforce performs daily automated backups and unlimited on-demand backups of all Salesforce data as well as metadata, which is not included in the weekly exports. Thanks, Devat. So we all know Salesforce is secure. So why would an admin use Spanning Backup? That's a great question, Denise. Of course, Salesforce is super secure, but even the best admins or developers could accidentally override data or metadata in their Salesforce orgs or they could have sync errors, or as we have heard from some customers, they could have malicious insiders who, ex who wipe out the data in the orgs that they have access to. At, here at Spanning, we have always believed that backup is one thing and restore is everything, and as a result of that, we have added a lot of restore functionality that make it very easy for admins and developers to not only restore object data, but also metadata directly into Salesforce and since we are in-app, we are also able to offer admins the option to enable their end users to self-correct their mistakes by restoring field-level data directly from on-page. That's great. Could you share some stories on how your spanning customers use your tool today? Absolutely. There are a lot of use cases to cover, so let's just go through the top three use cases that our customers run into. Let's jump right into a quick demo. The first use case is when a customer used Data Loader to mass update, but they mapped one field incorrectly and discovered it a month later. They know the exact records they need to restore, but the owner for the records had left the company. They also recently added a required field for that object type, and now they need to recover. So first from the spanning dashboard, the admin clicks on the restore button, selects object, and this org is the destination. Next. They upload CSV with Salesforce IDs of the records that need to be restored and the select date from which to restore. Once the verification is done, click Next. On the Restore Settings step, admin chooses to restore specific fields and selects the fields that need to be restored. Also, they choose to override field values and enter a value for owner ID that needs to own these records since the previous owner is inactive. They enter a value for the newly added required field so that the records are restored. Hit next, confirm the selections, and then click restore. With Spanning's granular restore settings, admins are in full control of the restore. Another use case is when a developer wants to see the sandbox with data in between a refresh cycle. First, they want to restore certain metadata items that have changed and then restore the records using CSV, including anonymization of certain fields. For this, the developer clicks restore from the spanning dashboard, selects metadata and different org as destination. They enter the Salesforce login credentials of the destination org and then hit next once they allow spanning to make changes to the destination org. Then they select specific metadata items that need to be restored and hit next to confirm changes before they click restore. This will restore the metadata into the target org or the destination org. They then need to restore the records and for that, they go back to the dashboard and hit restore again select objects and different orgs destination and put in their Salesforce login credentials. They upload the CSV with the IDs of the records that they want to populate into the sandbox and choose date to restore from to verify those IDs. Once the verification is complete, they hit next and then choose to restore child records and additionally, use a saved preset for anonymizing sensitive or personally identifiable information or PII fields in the sandbox. Hit next to confirm selections and then restore. Spanning sandbox seating is available to customers at no additional cost 
and it allows admins and developers to specify fields that need to be anonymized. A third use case is when a customer enables end user self restore using Spanning's on page restore functionality. So when a salesperson overrides data in error, they could get it back without asking for assistance from admins. Okay, wow, that was a really good demo. Thank you very much. I think admins are really gonna appreciate the fact that end users can be empowered to take on some of those tasks on their own using the spanning on-page restore tool. Um, where can folks learn more about the solution? You can find us on our website, spanning.com, or you can always find us on Salesforce App Exchange. We are a registered partner with Salesforce. Thanks for joining App Mavericks today. Thanks for having me.